I love uh, being at Navy Pier virtually yeah. on a morning like this. Isn't it nice yeah. being out here? Yeah, sure. Hey, what do Jerry Reinsdorf, Mrs. Fields, uh -huh. and Barney have in common? Uh, don't tell me. They're all part of the top 98 of 98, the countdown of the best bits, allegedly, on Fox Thing in the Morning. The ones you're going to see right now. What's your favorite of all the sounds you do? What's the one? What's the one? Money in the bank, showstopper, encore number, Michael. The best one? Yep. <laughs> it's all the stuff from uh, the Police Academy films, the Jimi Hendrix stuff. Like, yeah, this happened. This is just a loose chair. <laughs> We're seeing what you're doing here, but I noticed that you're like a ventriloquist. I mean, a lot of times you can't tell the sound is coming out of your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> they have uh, these um, these uh, notorious TV legends that we've all heard in the, uh, this week's issue of TV Guide. And then over here is an interesting one over here that I didn't catch until uh, this morning about you. Look at that. Marianne Murciano once played accordion on the Lawrence Welk show. There's a better <laughs> shot of it there. And you say you're not even old enough to remember Howdy Doody. What is that? I remember the bubbles, okay? <laughs> By the way, do you have a, a TV monitor there, Michael? Um, I think so. I don't know if I can see it, though. All right, because I, I want to show folks. I got an idea for uh, um, something you can add to the book. Where's, our, where's the picture of uh, Leo? I'm trying to see here. Uh, I want to show you something uh, that you need. It's right there. On the boat. Where is it? Oh, there it is. There it okay, is. here, uh, Sean, show uh, Michael a p uh, the, uh, get a close up if we can. Uh, how about <laughs> adding that this year, this summer, for the for the for the people who ride the Wendella? Well, you know, it, it's funny you mention that. We've already had uh, we had a, a, a sort of a ride yesterday, and the kids were going up in the bow of the boat like in the movie Titanic and <laughs> standing there over the. So I think we're going to have to uh, put some sort of sign up there this year. <laughs> None of this. Uh oh. <laughs> oh man, Michael Borgstrom, Wendella sightseeing boat captain, has lost his mind. <laughs> Wait a second. Now, since we're going down that road, hold on a second. I'm, I'm sorry. Gonna, I've got a question for you, Bob. All right. And I've got a question. No, let's do this for Marianne. Yeah. I got a lady that called me a little bit earlier this morning and said, please ask Marianne <laughs> about the Sammy Sosa fundraiser at Dick's Ooh. Last Resort. Yeah. <laughs> Tell us about the item that went for the highest amount of money. Tell us about that, Maria. You know, it's so, that's so funny, mm. isn't it? It was a, a purple nightshirt. Oh, it was a nightshirt. And shirt. that's all it was. Okay. Because it came back to me as underwear. I don't know. We're not surprised that you're in bed together. We're just surprised that you're in such a small bed together. Well, we like each other a lot. <laughs> yes. Does anyone kick anyone? No. Well, actually, this is a bed for a tight two shot. <laughs> what is it? A, uh... Uh, Asian, black and white, Asian long-haired beetle, uh, an inch long. Take a look at this report uh, that I saw last night on the Fox News Channel. Here, watch this right here. The giant locusts have reached the Chicago South Side and nearby suburbs. I repeat, the giant locusts have reached the Chicago South Side and nearby suburbs. Now, right away, you see, there's a problem there. There's a panic in the streets that I don't remember. Uh, all that traffic on the outer drive, and these things. Do you remember any of this happening? And it's not the south side, it's the Ravenswood neighborhood, right? It's like a 12-block area now on the north side. And uh, I don't know whether the forestry department or the U.S. Uh, and Illinois agriculture departments were watching the Fox News Channel last night, but if they were... <laughs> How big are these <laughs> I think this is the first time we've gone to a uh, puppy preschool. On the job with uh, Wendy DiCarlo, a dog trainer at DOG, Dog Obedience Group. Hi, uh, Wendy. Hi, how hi you doing, Bob. Wendy? Hi, Bob. Hi, Marianne. Uh, why preschool? Why not just school? <laughs> is this before they get into, like, first grade? Kind of. It's um, Puppy preschool is geared for dogs in their critical socialization time, so it's between, we start them as early as seven weeks up to about 14 weeks. And what are you doing this morning uh, right there? What's, what's, what's pup learning back there? What they're doing is they're targeting through cones. They're learning to hopefully pay attention to their owners um, in the midst of an obstacle. It teaches them to focus a little bit. They're using um, lures and reinforcements to get the job done. What sorts of lures and reinforcements? 
Well, some of the puppies are working with food. Um, if puppies do not like food or won't work for that, whatever the puppy likes is reinforcement. Um, mm -hmm. Balls, ten um, tennis balls, toys, um, petting from the owner. <laughs> oh, you've taught this. You've taught this guy to destroy a cone. Yeah. We have a very uh, special introduction now for uh, our guest. Roll it, folks. Daddy, 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 daddy. A little leftover from the. Uh, Jerry Springer program. Uh, welcome to the chairman of the uh, White Sox and the Bulls, Jerry Reinsdorf. Good morning. Nice to have you here. Pleasure. Uh, glad you came in. Have you ever um, watched the Springer show, by the way? Uh, no, I haven't. I've certainly read a lot about it. <laughs> or gotten a welcome like that. <laughs> but I like that, I think. Can I get a copy of that tape? <laughs> Play that. I think we can arrange that. All right. So, First of all, let's just get this out of the way. <laughs> I, I don't know if he's Is coming Michael back. Coming back? <laughs> you don't know. You don't even need to hear the question, right? That's right. Uh, I, I don't even think he knows. Put your, your chicken breast in a baggie, okay? Now, whoever uses a meat mallet, I certainly don't. But what I have found, I just <laughs> play don't trust. I wear a tool belt in the kitchen, okay? Just look how well. Oh, you know I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I never thought of doing that because the reason I don't do that is because you get the splattering all over the place. I never thought of sticking yeah. it in a Ziploc bag. Oh, it, it's wonderful. It saves another dish. And another great <laughs> thing. Just do that one time. Before. Sure, go ahead. Just watch the splattering. Okay. Is that fun? Yeah. It gets rid of a lot of aggression. Gary mentioned Taste of Chicago. By the way, uh, at the Fox Diner, this is the featured food on a stick today. Uh, ask for it by name if you wander by the Fox Diner today in Grand Park. Uh, I believe this is available only today at Taste of Chicago. <laughs> Mrs. Fields, why, why don't we just try to listen a little bit as you go ahead and uh, okay. try to be your friendly self let's to these people can... who are late to work. Yeah. Okay, let's see if I can give any of these away. Yeah, we'll okay, be standing by here. Okay, let's mm -hmm. go. Mm -hmm. Okay, you want to try our new Mrs. Fields ice cream cookie pot? No, not <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Oh, great. Mrs. Fields. Okay, yeah, okay. okay, cool. Maybe you want to remind okay. them it's Random Act of Kindness Monday. It is. Barney, um, do you believe the president? Pardon me? Do you believe the president? Do I believe the president? Yes. Oh, our president does a very, a very tough job, and I'm sure he's working very hard. <laughs> Mike Wallace is going to be proud of you, Bobby. <laughs> Yeah, nice. I that think was very Friday nice. I think was shocked. I think so. <laughs> we don't want that turkey to die. Let's get that turkey out of there. Stacy, go ahead. Quick, grab that turkey before Al can wrestle you to the ground. Uh, Fred the intern is gonna gonna help you in the getaway. Go ahead, kids. Get out of there quick. All right, we have to get a turkey. Come on, put it on your face. I think Al's coming. Get out of there. We're going to be uh, back in a second here, and hopefully we'll have the turkey in the studio before too long. You know, this is stealing. Let's pay Al. Can we? Let's see mumbling about back there.